Hi, I'm Glenn White with Eurosafety. Today we're going to talk about the delta and G gauge. There's a lot of confusion out there on how the gauge works and what the markings on the gauge mean. Now I think one of the things that confuse the pilots the most is the fact that there's a minus side. Now once you understand the gauge, it really does actually make sense. Now there's three basic looks you're going to see of the delta and G gauge. You're going to have the one that's a standard gauge like you'd see in the B2. There's the one that is on the VEMD, like in the 130B4. And then the latest look for the Delta NG gauge will be the one you see in the B3E, where they've removed the numbers because the numbers confuse people. But of course, we need the numbers because they refer to it in various emergency procedures. So let's start off by looking at the gauge and figure out what all the markings mean. First of all, we have the actual Delta um, and G gauge on top, and then we have the digital readout below it. The digital readout is the actual speed of the engine. The delta and G gauge is figuring out what's the max and G you can pull for your current temperature and altitude. So the red line value will always change. Now the reason for that is as you go up in altitude, a turbine engine's max NG decreases. And this is the same for, for every engine manufacturer, but generally an engine is not NG limited, unlike the Ariel, which is primarily NG limited. So we have our, our red line, which is our, which is our figured out max NG we can pull for that altitude. And then we have our digital readout, which gives us our actual speed of the engine. So at, at a low altitude, if you were taking off by sea level, for instance, like say up in Alaska or something, you may pull up to the red line and see 101.1 in the uh, digital readout. Now you go up to altitude and you land up uh, at a high altitude, fully loaded, and you bring it up to the red line again, the power up to the red line, and you'll see down here that it's only 99. So it's adjusted what the NG value is for the red line. Now on the minus side, let's say it was 99 at that particular day, minus four off of that, which is the bottom of the yellow for most of the gauges, three and a half for the B2, uh, with exceptions. And um, if you minus four off 99, Obviously, you get 95. So that's what the minus means on the, on the uh, left side of the gauge. So I hope that helps you understand the gauge, and I look forward to seeing you in another tutorial.